intermediate art class. Um, I just want to kind of um, start this session with um, a little overview of what you picked up. Um, some of you it was very different than others. Uh, but the very new thing for everybody was this um, uh, canvas board. And I also sent home um, some oil pastels. I didn't give you a whole set. I gave you some analogous colors and you should know what analogous colors are. They are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. Um, this project will be for down the road. Um, right now we're working on our grid drawings and I want to continue to work on our grid drawings. Um, and the oil pastel on the canvas is for later on. Now, um, that said, uh, some people are very close to being finished with the grid drawing. Uh, Caroline is one of those people. She worked on it a little bit over the break, but everyone has their black and white photo and their large paper that they were working uh, on their grid drawing. Uh, I'm pretty sure every single person from Intermediate Art picked up uh, material, so thank you. Very grateful for that. A lot of you took your grid drawing home over spring break and that made things a lot easier. Um, hopefully everyone has uh, some sort of a blending stick or tortillon, which is um, the smaller version, but they both do the same thing. Um, we talked about these. Hopefully everyone has some kind of an eraser, whether it's one of these uh, rectangular ones or uh, the ones that go on the end of a pencil. And uh, I like white best, but if you don't have a white eraser, pink erasers work fine um, too. And I tried to include, uh, if you didn't already have drawing pencils of your own at your house, um, I tried to include some soft and some harder lead um, drawing pencils in your packet that you picked up. So um, hopefully everyone has some variety of pencils to continue working on your grid drawing and continue to go box by box like we've talked about. Um, if you get to a really difficult uh, angle or, or a lot happening uh, in that part of the picture, kind of mentally divide that up into smaller squares, um, quadrants, and, and work in those to get the larger box. Um, so right now what I want you to continue to do is work on your grid drawing. We are going to be talking about um, Albrecht Durer uh, this week. He is our Northern Renaissance artist um, from Germany, or what is now Germany. Um, and we're gonna be looking at some of his most famous uh, works of art and answering some questions on those. Um, I think everyone also had a value sphere worksheet. And yes, you've seen these before. Um, but it's a great kind of warm up for working on uh, our grid drawing. So uh, even if you've done this in the past, go ahead and do it again um, as we, we jump in with our, our grid drawings. Um, I will have more information uh, on our art history person later in the week. Uh, what I'd like for you to do right now though is to take a picture of where you're at with your grid drawing. Some people are a lot further along than others um, so I kind of want to see where each of you are at this moment as we begin. And then uh, at the end of the week, every week, you can send me how far you've, you've gotten. Um, one square, two squares, uh, it all is going to depend on what you're drawing and what part of your drawing you're working on, how quickly or slowly you need to go. Um, I have one student who is done with her grid drawing, so I sent some other materials uh, home with you, Ava. Um, you have some watercolor paper and some watercolor paints. And if you could play around with the great way that uh, you had pulled up and were um, altering a little bit to make your own, uh, you can cut that watercolor paper into more pieces and um, do other things with that and, and maybe try some small things and some larger things. Um, I just try to make sure you had some materials to, to keep going um, with uh, the batik, we may not get to do the batik, which is why I gave you the oil pastels um, for a project that we'll do after the grid drawing. But uh, in the interim, Ava can work on watercolor. If you took um, one of the sketchbooks at the beginning of the year and you still have it, please, if you want to draw something, um, sketch something, 
um, keep working in those and I'd, I'd love to see anything else you're doing you know some of you do Bible journaling and if you want to show me some um, pictures of that kind of thing um, I would love to see it I know Cameron likes to do uh, cartoons and things like that I'd love to see anything you're working on that may or may not be for our class so I uh, definitely want to see where you're at with your grid drawing so let's put a starting um, point on that show me what you have right now and then as we you know move through the week uh, you can show me how you progress so everyone has their grid drawing so I'm very thankful for that and Ava will be working on some sort of um, watercolor slowly over time remember watercolor is transparent color layered over time um, so just play around with that and see what you come up with uh, if anyone has any kind of questions for me uh, email me or chat with me on the LMS and I'll get you some more information on our friend um, Albrecht Durer and uh, the questions I want you to answer about him. Uh, hope you all are safe. Miss you guys so much. Uh, talk to you soon.